Hey everybody, welcome to the Easy Make Concrete Kit. Easy Make Concrete Kit. I'm Mr. Concrete Concrete, and this is Mademoiselle Concrete Concrete. Today we're going to show you just how easy it is to make your very own mini concrete planter. Let's get right started. We've got everything we need for the kit. We've got our pre-batch colors, one, two, three, four, five, six, and we've got our mold. Everything else you're going to supply. We've got gloves on. We've got a dust mask. We've got safety goggles. We've got some butter knives for mixing. Don't tell mom. Don't tell mom. And we've got our plastic containers that we pulled out of the recycle bin. Mademoiselle Concrete Concrete is doing a little bit of a color blend, a purple variation of the green that we've included, and then yellow saying straight yellow. The base for purple is primarily pink. We're going to start with mostly pink and take the lid off. There we go. And then, the, and then, the, and then use the knife to kind of ease it out. If you try to just dump it out, it's going to dump, 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 all as one big lump. So you're going to tip the container over your, yeah, and then just kind of, you can use the knife to pull it out a bit. And, oh, going all, all of it. Good. Let's use it all. Boom. There's one, and let's put that to the side. We don't need that anymore, the jar or the lid. And now let's add a little bit of blue to that. <clears throat> so to get a nice purple, we're gonna have to add, um, let's see here, about a quarter of this blue. So let's go nice and slow, just a little bit at a time. Go, 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 and a touch more. Let's stop there. We can add, always add a little bit more. Uh, go just a tiny bit more. Okay, that's purple. Let's put that to the side. Probably you're going to have to come back to that. And then let's slide this pre-batch color over to the side. Let's get our next one. Let's do our green. Because we know green is another blendy, blendy color. So we're going to add about half of this green into the container. So in the kit, we've got enough to make uh, easily make two planters in this kit. So two rounds. And then enough for some overage. So there's almost enough to make three planters. Not quite. Let's stop there, that should be enough green. Uh, actually, go a little bit more, go a little bit more. The, uh, there's almost enough to make three planters, but not quite. We, we wanted it so you get a really good test, you can do two really great planters. Now, Mademoiselle Concrete Concrete is 10 years old. Um, so you're getting to see, you're getting to see just about anyone can do this. Let's add a little bit of blue into our green. Uh, about, let's go about the same. Keep going, keep going. Nice, that looks perfect. And last but not least, our yellow. And we were going straight yellow, I think. Straight yellow. Give a thumbs up if straight yellow is the right color, right? Straight, thumbs up, okay, straight yellow. Here we go. Same as before, we're gonna shovel that in with our knife. Well, we can shake it in. Do whatever you feel like. Let's see. There we go, that's enough. That'll be. That should be perfect. Okay, let's push our concrete kind of out of our way. We don't need these. I'll help you. Let's get rid of some of these. Clear our space. Our mold we're not going to need right away. We do need these, and we're going to need a couple knives for mixing, and we're going to need a little bit of sriracha water. Sriracha water, water in a sriracha bottle. You can put it in whatever kind of bottle you want, but you want to make sure that it is um, easy to dispense small amounts of water at a time. So if you want to pick up your knife for mixing, Mademoiselle, I can add water and you hold the container with one hand and mix and I'll, I'll pour water in for you. You can keep it on the ground, just keep it steady with your hand. There you go. And let's try that much. Mix it up. So this might be your first time mixing concrete ever. We want to just make sure that everything that's dry becomes wet. We don't want this to get too wet, but we do want to dig stuff out of the corners with our knife. So dig out all those little dry bits, and I'll add just a little bit more water. Don't add too much water. Adding too much water is going to give you a concrete mix that is likely to crack. Crack. And be a little crustier than you want. So we want to be careful with how much water we add. And this is turning into a really great kind of greeny blue teal. It's a fun color. Maybe just a little bit more water. Okay, let's try that. There we go. Get all the little corners, pull those corners into the middle. Looking good, looking real nice. And I think I'm gonna add just a tiny bit more there. 
there. I think that'll be just enough. If you get all your dry batches mixed together, I think you'll be, I think you'll be real good. And that should be just about perfect. Let's set that to the side with our knife. Let's do our next one. Let's do yellow. It's an easy one. Okay. And you're probably wondering how we're going to clean these knives off after. It's easy. Just wipe it off a little with a rag. No problem at all. I'd be uh, don't 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 put concrete down, down your sink. Don't 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 don't, don't. let it uh, let it dry. Throw it in the garbage. Um, I had too much water. Too much water. So here's what you do. If you had too much water, just sprinkle in a little bit of more concrete. We're making we're making great time. This is quick. You can have fun on 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 with it. What do you think? Maybe a little. That should do. Hit those corners. There's a couple corners you got to dig some dry bits out of. This is very very nice. That's the one. Yeah, dig it out of there. Okay. And I think we got another batch done. Now let's do our purple. Purple should be fun. Okay, this one I'm going to be real careful with our water content. Start with that much. We'll go from there. You can mix your colors wet or dry. Uh, with these six base colors, you can actually probably make... This is a math question. This is a... What is this? A permutations question? How many colors... Maybe tell me in the comments. How many colors can you make... Actually, and the shades in between, a lot. Let's just say a lot. With six base colors, you can make a lot of other colors. Mix and match to your heart's content. Now, you might be wondering, hey, I, I want to mix my own colors. I want my own pigments. I want to do this myself. You 100% can. On ConcreteConcrete.com, we've got all the raw materials for this kit in, in quantity. So if you, want, if you want your own pigments, if you want... Uh, gray matter, our special blend of you know jewelry grade, fine craft grade concrete. You can't get concrete like this just anywhere. Uh, this is something that we have developed the mix for on our own, and uh, we have a contract made for us. It is a, it is a beautiful, beautiful mix. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna give you just a little bit more blue. I think we need just a touch more. Let's try that. But yeah, you can go on ConcreteConcrete.com and get everything. You can get your own pigments, uh, everything you need. But for the kit, I want it to be easy. So easy, so user-friendly. And I'll be honest with you, mixing pigments is not easy. It's messy. If you work with raw pigments, it's very messy. And uh, somewhat challenging. So we wanted to, to see a success. I wanted you to see a, success, see a successful kit right away. I want you to have success right from the get-go. So um, that involves kind of kind of doing some of the guesswork for you, and, and one of those is colors. So I think we've got we've got purple going. It's like a we do thumbs up, thumbs down. You want more blue? You want more blue? Yeah. Okay. Okay. I'll just try that. When I'm mixing purples, I like to start with pink and then add blue to it. Starting with blue is. Uh, it's really, blue is so strong that you want to start with your weaker color and then add your other color into it to build up to a color. Purple's a fun color, but it's actually quite challenging to mix. But I think, we are, uh, I, think we're, I think we're just about there. This is going to do it for us, for sure. I'm going to give you a couple more drips of water. This is looking real, real nice. In the meantime, I'm just going to check the consistency of these other ones. Get any little side batches for you. That's looking good. Nothing in the corners. Give this green another. Oh, there it is. That's it. That's it. Mademoiselle's nodding her head. That's it. Okay. So now I believe Mademoiselle is not doing a marbled mix, but she's doing a stack. So we've got our colors. She's got her mold. Now for stacking, uh, you want to try to pour down the side of the mold. So what's what's the first color? Just purple. Okay. So you're gonna probably you're gonna pour out through the corner of your uh, container, and you're gonna probably need your knife too to, to 
kind of shovel it out for you. There you go. Nicely done. Nicely done. Okay. A little more. I'd go just a touch more. You might need just a little bit more so we get the full thing topped up. Okay, you're probably good. Uh, what's the next color? Okay, the green. Dump, 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 dump. Dump it in. Going right over top of our purple. We're going we're gonna to get them all in there. You might have to scrape your container out. There you go. Okay. And I think you've got a decent amount of green in there too, still, still kind of stuck to the bottom or you want to jump. I, I'd add a little bit more because I don't think you're going to have enough yellow to top the whole thing up. I guess we can always jump back to purple though too. Yeah, sure. Go yellow. Maybe this will finish it. So now we can just dump. Keep going. So I think we're gonna need, I think we're gonna need the purple to finish it. But we want this to kind of look yellow. So I'm gonna show you a trick. If we need to use a secondary color to top up that we don't, what you can do is you can take your knife, you can pull some of the yellow up the sides, now dump your purple in to top up. Go for it. looking great we could probably leave it right there that's enough it's full enough now why don't you clean off just the top of your mold just a little bit with one of your knives it'll save you some work after yeah it's easy to clean concrete when it's wet okay oh looking real good and now one of our final steps before we let this just sit and cure is to tap it out. Tap it with your fingers, you can flick the sides, you can bounce it up and down, do it, uh, do whatever you want. Here, I'll grab a cloth, I'm gonna wipe this out of your way so you can, there, I right, tap it right there. Let everyone see what you're up to. Tap, 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 tapping it. Bounce it a few times if you want. We're just trying to work some of that air out. Now, gray matter has some special properties. One of them is it's uh, self-leveling, self-consolidating. Uh, that's a fancy way of saying that the air comes out of this pretty easily without any extra mechanical vibration, and it, it'll flatten itself out on its own. Uh, so really easy to use, and actually a, a pretty technical, <laughs> it's a pretty technical aspect of gray matter that you will not see in concrete that you buy from the hardware store. So we've developed, we've developed this concrete specifically for making fine art, for making fine craft, and for making jewelry. Uh, you're gonna see from the results and see what you can get out of colors, why and why this is important. But uh, you know, right off the bat, easy to work with. Levels on its own, no troweling, something that you can do just about anywhere, in your kitchen, in your bathroom, on a picnic table. Uh, I think that's good, we're good. One more tap. We're going to leave it there, and we're going to come back in uh, in about four hours. Four hours is all we need to demold this. Thanks, everybody. We're going to catch you on the cured side. Goodbye. Hey, concrete fans. We're back on the cured side of this little concrete planter uh, vessel that we made. 
We got Mademoiselle Concrete Concrete back with us, and she's going to an attempted demold. I will say this might be the one place where we need the help of a parent, but uh, let's see. Let's see how she handles it. Okay, we'll just try. Uh, you, first thing you want to do is peel and release your sides. Separate it, just going around the edge. Separated, no problem. And now with this type of a mold, we're just going to try to turn it inside out. Let's see. How much strength do you need to turn this mold inside out? We're close. Oh, she got it. She got it. And, ooh, that purple is quite a color. Now, pull and give it a little twist. Should come, boom. Bravo. There it is. Still intact. We'll give that a little wash out later. Turn it right side. Yeah, just we can turn it right side in. We'll just toss it for now. We don't need it. I'll show it. Turn it, turn it right side in. Oh. So, great mold. So easy. Got a nice kind of smoky purple going down, a little bit of teal accents, and then some, uh, some beautiful smoky yellow kind of coming up the edges. But there, there it is. Very own little planter. Looking very clean, very beautiful, and uh, I'd say pretty easy. It was a, what, what, do you, what did you think, Mademoiselle? Fun project? thumbs up. So hopefully you've got your own kit um, and you can try this at home. But uh, if not, enjoy watching the videos. That's fun too. But if you do want to try this, head over to www.concreteconcrete.com. Uh, we've got these kits. We've got other materials. We've got other instructional videos. Uh, and also, you know, leave a comment, ask a question. We'll, we'll help out where we can. Thanks for watching, everybody. Appreciate the support and uh, hope you're Staying happy and safe out there. Bye-bye. Wave goodbye. Bye. Bye. <laughs> mm -hmm.